something quite interesting is going to happen tonight. It doesn't really happen that often over Ireland, but just before sunset, two things are going to happen. One, the International Space Station is going to fly over the, uh, or orbit over Ireland. And not long after that then, um, there's going to be a launch of a rocket, uh, SpaceX. So it's the Dragon rocket ship is going to be launching from the US and that's also going to pass over Ireland. So I'm outside, been stuck at home, it's not that bad. I'm really looking at the sky. I've got all my creature comforts if I need them. I've got a nice cup of tea here to keep me warm should it get cold. But what I'm going to do is try and get some photographs of all of these things if I can. I'm not quite sure if I can or not. The International Space Station is not that far away looking at the app that tells me where it is, but I may not be able to see it in the sky because when it passes over it won't be quite uh, sunset yet. But after that, when the rocket launches, I'll be able to follow it and see when it launches from the US and hopefully that should come up as well and pass right under the crescent moon that we have at the moment. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to use the camera, got the long lens on, zoom into the moon. There's a small bit of haze there, it's not ideal. But what I'm going to do is try and take a couple of photographs of the moon just before the uh, sunset. And I'm also going to try something that I saw a couple of videos online in relation to, you know, stacking photographs of the moon so that you can actually get more clarity within it. So I might give that a go. I may not. I may not be able to do that either. But you know what? It's good to experiment with photography. And if you can get it working, then you learn something new. And if you didn't, at least you tried. But for now, anyway, I'm going to take some photographs of that have my cup of tea, kick back, relax, and watch the moon. For me to take the shot here that I want to take the multiple exposures of the moon, I'm using again my Hanel Capture Pro and that allows me to be completely hands off, set the camera on high speed uh, continuous but I've got it on silent continuous so it's not as noisy but um, then all I have to do is set my shot up, focus on the moon, I'm using the thing called the Looney 11 guide so you know it's F11 ISO 100 and then your shutter speed as well 100 and that will get you close enough that you need to be able to get a baseline shot and then you can just adjust it as need be dependent if you've got any haze or the time of day that it can be at and stuff like that but um, I now got it set up here got it focused on the moon and then what I'll also do then just to make sure is I will zoom in completely on the moon and I can actually see now the detail appearing in the craters that's that 10 times uh, zoom and then I just take the photograph but it's actually amazing to see how fast the moon actually moves across the screen when you have it at uh, 10 times zoom so you know you have to be quick because obviously you'll have me moving it and you also have to be quick as well in regards to the uh, shutter speed because it would actually show up as blur in the photograph. I'm going to take the photograph I'm just going to press this button and then it'll take a sequence of photographs in high speed this is now beeping to tell me that it was actually continuing and I did six shots there so I'd probably take about 10 shots, I think, of what they say you should use. So let's take 10 shots approximately. And that's that done. So hopefully I'll be able to get those anyway um, put back into one uh, photograph when I edit it using the techniques, as I said, that I learned online. Now, back to the International Space Station. So that now is just coming over Ireland. So. I don't know if I'll be able to see it or not in the uh, in the sky. I'm going to keep my eye out for it anyway. Don't know if I'll be able to film it because it'd be hard to see, but it's just coming over Ireland now based on the, uh, the, the, the app. It's telling me where it's moving to. So yeah, keep an eye out here and uh, hopefully I find it.
was a bust. I couldn't see the uh, International Space Station and the launch was cancelled. So both things that I wanted to do really didn't work out. But you know what? I think I actually got some nice photographs of the moon. And I've also as well now just gotten another video there of the moon uh, coming through at sunset. So the sun has gone down now, so I'm just being lit just by the sensor, I suppose, on the camera and the ambient light that's remaining. We have a clear sky now as well, so it's good. I might try and take some more photographs of the moon now as the light will fade there and see what kind of shots I can get as that would move on. But I was checking online when I saw the news as a alarm goes off in the background, but I was checking there when I saw the news that the launch was cancelled, what else was happening this evening. And I checked in Astronomy Ireland on their Facebook group and uh, phenomenal things actually happened this evening because the Starlinks are passing over, not once, not twice, but I think three times in total. Uh, I won't be staying up for all of them, but there is one going to be in around about an hour's time. So, you know, that should be uh, interesting. And the International Space Station comes back. No, it comes back uh, in the south, so I may not be able to see that. The Starlinks will be high in the south, so hopefully I'll be able to see those. But yeah, you never know, might get lucky. May not, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. pretty cool. The International Space Station came whizzing by. Managed to think, get it on video. Don't know if it's in focus or not yet because it came so quickly, but yeah, right on schedule. Was able to see it come across the sky. Still a small bit lit up. Tried to get some photographs of it as well. Had to move handheld because it was moving so fast through the sky, but I did try and get one or two as I was panning across as well when it was on the uh, tripod, but yeah, pretty cool. Don't know if I got it or not, but good to see it go over anyway and good to try it now. The next thing is that the uh, Starlink satellites as well are due over here now, pretty not long after now. So I'm going to uh, hang about. I'm going to actually go get a beer now, I think. Yeah, I've had enough tea, so I think I'll deserve a beer. And I'll wait for these Starlinks, and uh, yeah, if we see them, I'll try and take some photographs of them. And hopefully, maybe I'll do a better job if I haven't done a good job on the International Space Station. I don't even know if we'll be able to see it or not at 600 mil, but yeah, we'll give it a go anyway, sure. Well, we're out, we're trying. So yeah, we'll uh, check back in in this morning. Well, that certainly was a great challenge. I missed the International Space Station, I think, because I wasn't fast enough with the camera and the shutter speed, but I did enjoy it nonetheless. And I didn't stay up to wait for the Starlinks because it was just going to be a bit too late. Hope you enjoyed this episode, certainly different anyway to the norm. Hopefully soon enough I'll be back out into the landscape. But as always, if it's your first time on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, leave me a comment below, and until the next time, Schlange Folk.